Hi, my name is Dallas. I'm the owner of Lower Gear. I want to talk a little bit about personal rescue devices. When you're out in the back country, you may feel perfectly fine and comfortable and safe, but often people at home are fairly wearied. And so we have a couple of different devices for that you can stay in touch with people at home, and if something bad does happen, then you're able to reach out to the rescue services. We've been renting the spot unit, and we'll show a close-up of these here in a minute. We've been renting the spot unit for four or five years. And what we have now as an addition are the in-reach models. And the big advantage of these that we want to talk about is the two-way communication ability where people at home can reach you as well as you reach the people at home. And instead of the, like the spot, the restriction of the spot is you have to send preset messages you can text from these just as if you were texting from your iPhone. Um, and, but it just all works on a satellite network rather than a cell phone. So let's take a look at some of the options that you have with these models. Here are the two models of spots that we currently carry. This is the <clears throat> one we've had for a few years is the spot two generation and this is the spot three. What they share in common along with other emergency beacon and communicator devices is that they allow you to stay in touch with people at home even when you're outside of cellular range. They work off the Global Star network and they allow you to send text messages or emails to a predetermined list of contacts that you want to add to your online profile. And we'll send you the instructions on how to do that when we ship the spot to you. Some of the advantages of the Spot 3, it, it's uh, the more recent model, of course. They've made it a little bit smaller. They've changed the buttons around a, a little bit. And it works off four lithium batteries instead of three, so the battery life is a little bit better. It has some advantages in the tracking capabilities. And uh, you can use rechargeable batteries in it rather than just uh, regular lithiums like you can't have to use in the spot two. And, uh, some of those details are on in the product description, a little bit more detail about those differences. What they share in common as far as function, and we'll just look at this one. Very simple operation, number of buttons, power, the I'm OK button, which is probably the most frequently used, the tracking button, this will send out a signal every 10 minutes so somebody can watch you in virtual real time on Google Earth if you want. A little custom message option here. They can say pick me up at trailhead A instead of trailhead B. There's a little protective cap right there for the em emergency button so it's not inadvertently pressed. And then this button is a help button that's mostly directed to people at home if they're in a position to be able to help you out. Or you can use it as an alternative messaging source. So ultimately you have like three different messages that you can send out with this. The back of the unit you'll see on this one, it happens to, you won't be able to necessarily see it, but it says lower gear 128. That'll be your login uh, based on the one that we send you. And this is where the batteries go. The spot is a great item. We've been renting it for years, um, but I do want to compare and contrast it to another option. We have a separate video on the DeLorme inReach, which is this one. To highlight just some of those differences, there's two main things. One is that the inReach uh, allows two-way communication. Whereas the spot is limited just from you in the backcountry to people back home via email or cell phone, the inReach can be uh, communicated to from home. So you can receive messages on this from people at uh, home. 
Also, when you're sending message with the spot, you are limited to whatever you preset on the online profile. And while you can do uh, preset messages on this, you can also do custom messages. So it's just like having an iPhone with you, if you will, except it works on a satellite network rather than a cellular network. The spot is probably the better alternative uh, if you're doing frequent tracking because with the inReach there is data involved, uh, data usage, whereas with the spot it's unlimited usage. So your rental is going to be substantially less with the spot than it is with the inReach. However, the inReach does have some distinct advantages. Lastly is geographic coverage. The inReach uh, is pretty much worldwide, including polar areas in the middle of the ocean. Uh, spot is pretty much limited to uh, within a couple hundred miles of the uh, shoreline, and uh, but works perfectly. They're both perfectly fine for anything in domestic use here in the U.S. and Canada. If you need some help deciding which of our emergency beacons is best for you, whether it's the original spot, the new spot, or the latest in reach, then you can just feel free to give us a call at 480-348-8917 or take a look at our website, the product description on all three items at www.lowergear.com.